I'll have more details on that and what the weekend's shaping up like coming up in the 9 on 9. Sophie? Thanks a lot, Marcus. Haven't felt 40s in a while. Well, a man tonight is in critical condition following a stabbing in Milford early on Saturday morning. Police say the stabbing happened following an altercation inside a Milford home. The suspect in that stabbing, 29-year-old Daryl Pounds, has been arrested and now charged with willful injury. That's a Class C felony. Police say the victim, 22-year-old Troy Peterson, is currently hospitalized and in critical but stable condition. And a woman is behind bars tonight after leading police on a high-speed chase in Madison County, Nebraska. Madeline's Martinez Venero is suspected of stealing multiple items from a Norfolk Target and fleeing police at speeds of 95 miles an hour. Martinez Venero was stopped and taken into custody near Oakdale. Authorities found numerous items suspected stolen from Target, also found a glass pipe that contained meth. Martinez Venero is now charged with possession of a controlled substance, flight to avoid arrest, willful reckless driving, and no operator's license. The investigation tonight remains ongoing. The Sheriff's Department says more charges might be filed. You can read the full story right now on our website. That's SiouxLandProud.com. Switching gears, this morning the University of South Dakota announcing some changes for their law school. The school is now the University of South Dakota Knutson Law School in honor of Siouxlander David Knutson. It was Knutson's friend T. Denny Sanford that donated $12.5 million to the school, providing 10 scholarships every year and the new name in Knutson's honor. This certainly secures a very strong legal future for the state of South Dakota. It helps us attract and retain the best and brightest for the legal system in the state of South Dakota. Knudsen says he was shocked when he found out what his friend did, but is glad the money is going to the future of supporting law in South Dakota. Do you ever find yourself indulging throughout the week or maybe on the weekend? That might be even easier to do during the coronavirus pandemic when some of our days seem to blend together now. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither talks to an expert for us to help us push through this tough Monday. Fall off the health wagon this weekend? Take some time away from your fitness routine and are now vowing to recommit come Monday? Health and fitness expert Stephanie Mansour says it's a common but unhelpful mindset. Use your calendar to block off Saturdays and Sundays so that you don't work. Also, call on your calendar to chunk your time so that you have time for work, for your family, and for your social life. Feeling overwhelmed by decision making? The fix is to dumb down your decision. So as the day goes on, we get a little bit worn out having to make so many decisions throughout the day, especially in COVID. So if earlier you decided to do an intense workout with heavy weights or make a really elaborate healthy meal, towards the end of the day, if you end up doing a workout with one pound weights or making a super simple quick dinner, that's great. And finally, fix that feeling that you're stuck in the same space. Make your environment multifunctional. So when you're done with work, close your laptop. Put your laptop away, out of sight, out of mind. And instead, light a candle on your desk or your workstation and call a friend or read a book. Do something that is useful in that section of your home that doesn't have to do with work. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Good advice. Well, over the past several months, the pandemic has created many problems in different industries. The country's meat supply, no different. Why some beef jerky flavors are missing from the shelves. Coming up. And it looks like tonight is going to be a cool one. 40s and 50s throughout Siouxland. Slim storm chances in the coming days and a warming trend throughout the week. Those details after the break. You're watching KCAU 9 News with Sophie Herber and meteorologist Marcus Beasley. This is KCAU 9 News at 5. Nine-year-old Carter Neal has run 39 miles and raised more than $1,000 for a heart foundation. Mari Lisignoli has his story. In a time of social distance. We haven't got to play with our friends as much. Nine-year-old Carter Neal is going the distance. I've ran 39 miles. To raise money. Every $20 someone donates, I'll run one mile. He's always had a huge heart. A huge heart. Helping little ones, like his cousin Jaylee's. Because my cousin Jaylee had a heart transplant at nine months old. So I'm raising money through Help a Heart so they can let people 
stay at the Ronald McDonald house and pay for their gas and food. Carter's mom and dad helped set up a Facebook page to get the word out and raise money for the Help a Heart Foundation. One in 100 babies born have congenital heart disease, CHD or problems with the heart and affects the way the heart works. This summer, Carter has raised more than $1,000. There's sometimes he comes home and he's like, in 30 minutes, I'm going to do another mile. And there's sometimes he comes home and I feel like he's crawling around the corner. When you're running, what do you think about? Um, I think about my cousin, Jaylee, because I want to help kids like her get through it. Awesome story. Now taking a live look outside, Marcus has another check on our forecast through the work week coming up next, so stay with us. Welcome back. You might be wondering where Tim is today. Well, he's here. He's back in the newsroom working on the KCAU 9 News at 6. And beginning today, he will be joining me at this time each afternoon for a quick preview of the stories we'll have for you at 6. Hey, Tim. Hey, good afternoon, Sophie. What a great afternoon. Sunshine outside. Beautiful way to start the work week, I would say. Uh, let's talk about what we do have coming up at 6 today. A big uh, day at Sioux City City Council. Eyes are on downtown today as the council is expected to approve about a quarter million dollars in funding for body cameras for Sioux City Police Department. We're learning more about how that all might get rolled out. We'll have that coming up tonight at 6. Also, uh, don't be surprised if you see a few motorcycles, more than a few, rolling through City in the next coming days or so. In fact, throughout this week into next week, they're headed west to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Despite some COVID-19 concerns, this year's rally is happening, and bikers are already headed that way. They're expecting maybe 250,000 out in uh, Sturgis. And here in Siouxland, that's good news. One bike shop telling us that Business has been booming since uh, organizers announced the event was going to move forward. We'll check in with the folks at the uh, Salmon Cycling Cycling Solutions coming up uh, here at 6 o'clock. And uh, I know, uh, Sophie, you've been worried about those uh, Asian hornets that we reported on here a few weeks back. Some good news there as well. Researchers have uh, come up with a bit of a development that everybody will be good to hear. I think that's some good news we'll have at 6 as well. But in the meantime, I know uh, you and Scott talking about this great day that we've had uh, all afternoon. That's right. And the images of those things are scary. Those oh, yeah. Asian hornets. So uh, terrifying. Thanks a lot, Tim. And we'll check back with you at 6 o'clock. One quick check on mm -hmm. the weather. Fortunately, no scary hornets I've seen out there today. Beautiful day. Actually, I've seen some pretty big bees flying around. Today? Wow. Yeah, today. Actually, I saw a couple of them. And I mean, that was my first thought. Was, was it those, <laughs> oh, those no. giant Asian hornets? But it is going to be a really nice night. On the cooler side, though, 51 degrees tonight. It does look like... A great night to open up the windows again tomorrow, around 80 degrees, so a little bit warmer. There is a chance for a few showers and storms to develop late in the evening, mainly as we head into the overnight period tomorrow night. And it does look like we'll see a warming trend throughout the rest of this Good week. Good news there. Thanks a lot, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you at 6. Have a great night.